Hey YouTube, <clears throat> it's uh, let's see, Saturday, I can't remember what day it is, Saturday after Christmas or whatever, but working on the old power stroke, put a new water pump in it the other day, uh, well the transfer case in my wife's car blew up, grenaded itself, um, no idea why, but I guess it's a weak link on the for the um, edges, all-wheel drive, but um, so I'll, she was driving my beater to work or for her business, <laughs> trying to, and uh, I was driving the service truck every day. And uh, one of the days I was going to work, freaking water pump went out, and I mean it, it went out so bad that it starting to blow coolant so much over on the belt if. The belt fell off. That's the only reason why I knew the water pump went out. And then, of course, when I slowed down, I smelled antifreeze. So I put a new power, uh, new water pump on, and I was cheap and just used the original operator to hose. Bought a new gasket. This is a new gasket, and put the old thermostat in it. Problem is, so I got it all back together, fired up, you know, fresh coolant flush and everything in it. And I was leaking coolant. Um, not when it was cold, but when I was, you know, building in pressure in the coolant system. And I, if you can see it on here, there's a lip on this thermostat. And it doesn't say Motocraft or anything on it, so I don't know if it's original. But what happens is this gasket that sets on there doesn't quite sit on there very well because of that lip. And... I mean, I, I thought, well, maybe it's meant to have this on the bottom side, and then it was supposed to crush against that to seal. I don't know, but it wasn't that way when I got it. When I took it apart, it was like this. I watched a couple YouTube videos on it, and it was sitting there on top like that. So that's what I'm going to do. So what I did is I bought a new thermostat. I think it opens at 185 to 195 or something like that. All the other ones that Napa sells does not have that lip on there. So my theory was is maybe this was sitting there crooked and didn't seat. So, and then instead of this one, that the seven threes, it slips through the serpentine belt. So if you want to change your serpentine belt, you got to pull you up a radiator hose. Well, I got this one that's meant for the dual alternator setup and it slips right in here doesn't you don't have to change anything and it sets in there like this of course behind the serpentine belt see if you can see it very well and uh, you know fits in there just like that it's two bucks more and uh, I think that's definitely gonna be the way to go because you know but uh, anyway so that's what I'm doing today um, in the shop I do finally have the lathe going see I was making some chips there um, so pretty sweet I made this homemade little tool post and uh, because I you know being a machinist this is something I've never messed with this is like a hobby for high-speed steel fine if you like it I absolutely hate it I only got one of them so one of these little so I will keep that, but I will not be using that if I don't have to. So I made this tool post holder, cheap man, you know, just a piece of stock that I had in here. Faced it, drilled it, turned it. And then I mounted it to here, uh, chucked up in my forward jaw, an uh, end mill, and the end milled too flat, or, you know, and then stuck it in the drill press, drilled and tapped it. And, uh, it's a little low. I'm gonna open this up more, and so I can shim it to exactly what I want. But um, for being cheap and not wanting to buy a real nice, you know, one or whatever, it works good. And I'm really happy with this little lathe. Um, but anyways, let me back up here so you can see. Anyways, and then I think I've already had a video on it, and all the crap I got for it. But and next time I have a video. This workbench will be out of here. It will be gone. I won't have a workbench in the shop. <laughs> but uh, I have a, another purchase that 
will be right right there where that's at to add to the machine shop. And you guys will probably nothing what any of you guys thinks what it'll be, but it it's a uh, I think every every little machine shop should have one, and every machine shop I've been in has had one. So, anyways, that's just a little update on what I'm doing today. Not even logging yet. I'm already working on equipment, so such is life. But uh, oh, see that Christmas present from my wife. She was tired of me coming in here and working in the dark with my flashlight app on my phone, rolling around because I can't hardly see. So she she bought me that, which is pretty sweet. So, anyways, just hadn't posted a video for about a month and want to let you guys know I'm still alive and still you know still chugging away so oh I, I do have a really cool surprise here let me see if I can turn my camera around I've never done it before hold on maybe I can't no I can't but my wife is pregnant and uh, we're 14 weeks along with a baby girl so very excited very freaking excited very stressed out it'll be my first kid um, that's mine so um, I mean, George is, George is mine. He calls me dad, and uh, I love it, and I love him just the same as if he was my own. But, you know, I missed the first two years with him. So these, he, he was just, just getting out of diapers when I never had to change a diaper. So the, the first two and a half years for me is going to be all brand new. But that's uh, what's uh, hot and new with the with me so anyways talk to you guys later adios